Hi everyone, in this lecture we will be going over the order by clause. Sometimes we want the results to be different than the data returned like by a simple select statement. Whenever we get data from the database, it's always going to be in the same order as its table. Using the WHERE clause, um, it allows us to reduce the result set but not order it. That's where the order by clause comes in. The order by clause is the main way that we can shape the returned results. It allows uh, for sorting of the result set and if we have a WHERE clause inside of our statement, it comes after the WHERE clause. Now, you are going to specify one or more columns and then the database will uh, reorder your results, uh, result set by each of those columns in turn. So, the default order that we are going to uh, receive data is going to be ascending. So, how does this actually work? Now, let's say we go to our employees table. So, within the employees table, we have salary. Now, let's say you want to order the sal salary and how can we do that and you want to return the uh, you want to grab or extract the first name last name and salary columns from this uh, table as well so we are going to say select from employees i'm going to alias it as e now we are going to say order by c it is capital because a sql because it's a sql command i'm going to say e dot salary Let's terminate that statement and I'm going to say e dot first name, e dot last name, and then let's grab the salary, e dot salary. So let's save that, let's run this, and there we go. So you can see it basically arranged the salaries in an ascending order. And we returned, we extracted that data, the first name for that salary, the last name, as well as the salary itself. So this is actually how this um, where clause works. I'm going to give you a couple of more examples as well so you really feel comfortable with this clause. This is going to be example number 34. Let me comment out this part. So in this example, let's talk about, uh, let's grab, um, uh, like, let's grab another table. So let's say we have this table, right? And we have our region ID, we have country ID, country name, and region ID. So what if we want to order this region ID? How can we do that? So I'm going to grab this table first. So it is uh, countries, and I'm going to alias it as C. Then we want to order by the region ID, so C dot region underscore id there we go and what do we want to return from this we just want to return c dot country let's say country name let's run this program there we go so based on like that reordering of the region id this is the result and of course our inserted results are going to be the last because this was 101 202 303 and 900 uh, not 101, 1001. You know what I mean. So this is uh, in the second example in this lecture. I'm going to copy this. Uh, let's comment this part out. And I'm going to give you another example as well. So let's say this is example number 35. So in this example, I just want to show you that you you can not only use the number, you can numeric values, you can use strings as well. And it is going to order them uh, ascending like by an in an ascending fashion so let's grab um hmm. so here we have our region id you know what i'm gonna gonna do the same example but instead of passing the region id we want to grab the country id and pass it here so i'm gonna say e dot country underscore name sorry not id country name so i want i want to reorder this table in the way that uh, they are, the order is based on the country name. So ascendingly, it is going to start from like Afghanistan and then Argentina, Australia, and so on and so forth. So if I run this program, save it and run it, there we go. So this is in an ascending order, this example meant to visualize for you that not only you can pass in numeric values but you can pass in string values as well or textual values as well and it is going to order 
that the returned result set for you. So with this, our lecture comes to an end. See you in the next lecture.